everyone, it's Ginger from my sister Scrapper. Today I have another mini album to share with you. This mini album is created using the fabulous Graphic 45 Mother Goose paper line. Um, the pages are all created from cardstock. Um, I have a chipboard cover, chipboard spine, and here's the back. On the front cover I kept it pretty simple. I went ahead and layered some of the design paper here with the um, nursery rhyme on it. Um, I used a decorative punch here. I layered the, one of the cutouts from the postcards, another cutout here, and then these are some ABC stickers, some alpha stickers that I had on my stash. And I have a little button for my stash and some May Arts red twine. And there's the spine, there's the back. I inked all the edges with um, bright burlap. I think. <laughs> so you open it up and on the inside cover I created a little pocket here with um, a little booklet on the inside and I used a little belly band to hold it shut. So I have all these little cutouts and again I use the 8x8 paper pad and these are all from the 8x8 paper pad. So they're solid on this side and then you have three of the labels and on the back you got three of the solids into the small little labels here. So that and I this is just cut from the um, one of the strips of paper here that has the border strips on it. And that just goes on there to keep it closed and it just tucks inside here. I've created this style of mini album before. Um, again, it's using cardstock. So what I did was I used some of the cutouts here for photo mats and I just inked around the edges. I put some of the little stamps here and um, there's a pocket here. There is also a little tiny pocket here if you want to tuck something in as well as a photo mat here. I love this paper. This is probably one of my favorites. And then there's a larger photo mat that goes back here. Love the stars. And then you have, this will flip up like this. You have a place for a photo here. And then again, you have another pocket here. This is a brad I found in my stash and I thought it matched your paper really well. Another one of little uh, stamps. I've got some of the cut aparts right here. I made a little photo mat out of the um, nursery rhyme music paper. I thought that was darling. And then you have another pocket back here with a larger photo mat. And I have had several people ask how I um, create these pages. So um, I will show a tutorial that's on my list. <laughs> Um, of how to do this. And I added a strip of the paper here just to cover up some of the black cardstock. So you flip it over and then we have the same thing on the reverse side. There's only three pages in here but it's super chunky. Again, another cutout. And you do have a small pocket here if you want to tuck something in. I used my um, scallop punch here. And then another photo mat here, just says Mother Goose. And another photo mat here. And you flip it up, again a place for a large photo here, and then um, I, cr I created a pocket here, and then I have a little fold out right here for some photos as well, and a row of the stamps right here. And then there's also a large pocket back, oopsie, right here. So that's just the first page, and again I used solid black cardstock, and then I matted everything with the designer paper from Graphic 45. Again another cutout here, and again this is open, and the photo mat here, and then another photo mat here. And again you can put a little tiny photo here if you wanted to or some, a little tag or something else. Because you know, hey, we don't have enough tags in here already. <laughs> another photo mat here. I get another brad that I found in my stash and I went ahead and added another little stamp from the paper collection. Another cutout. I love the little twinkle twinkle little star music paper. And there's a larger photo mat back here. So you can actually get a boatload of photos in this little puppy. And you flip it over, again we have the same thing over here. We have a cutout from the design paper, Humpty Dumpty. And then again we have a photo mat here. And we have a larger photo mat here. So you flip it up, and again a place for a large photo here. This is the pocket here. 
that has the booklet in it. I tried to be consistent with um, what I put in some of these, so not a little too overwhelming. And then there's a large photo mat here. And again, I put a strip of the um, border strip paper right here just to cover up some of it because I had to leave like a half an inch between my pages just so it would lay nice and flat and the book would close and not gap open. Again, another um, cutout from the paper collection. Another photo mat here. And another photo mat here. You flip it up, again, a place for a large photo here. Another button, that, or another brad that I have in my stash. Another little stamp from the paper collection. A smaller photo mat here. Another one with a music note. And a larger photo mat here. You could even put a picture here because I did leave it open, like right here. So if you wanted to stick something in there, you could. And then you flip it over again on the last page. Another cutout. This is bedtime story. Another photo mat here. And a larger photo mat here. You flip it up and you have a place for a large photo here. Again, the pocket here with the scallop edge. And another flip up booklet for a couple of photos. You could even put one in the back if you wanted. And a larger tag here. And on the back inside cover, I just left it plain. You could put a photo here if you wanted, um, but there you go, that's the back. So that's my little Mother Goose Graphic 45 mini album. And there you have it, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye.